What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Ray. We're back with another Vlogtober episode. We're here at the Hoodwill. We're gonna go inside to see what we can find to flip on eBay for $8 to $800 challenge. We currently have $476 in our budget, so that's plenty of money for whatever we find in there. But hopefully we can keep that rolling, 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 baby. So let's go in there, see what we can find. And later on, my wife and I are gonna go to a little dinner. So let's go, baby. At the Hoodwill, baby, let's see what we can find for eight to $800 challenge. We have the Cincinnati Reds hat. Doesn't look like it's gonna be worth any money. So you know we gotta go look at the shoes. We got these Allbirds here and these things are cooked. And we found another pair of really good shoes, but these are cooked as well. These are Cairo, Cairo, good brand to look for. But check this out, guys. We've got the shoe stocking guy here, but I don't want to look through these bends because that's a little disrespectful. But here we go. Some New Balance 574s. Checking to see how much they want for them. Um, $9.99, which is a little much, in my opinion, considering the condition. And here we have some... Um, I guess, Rick, I can't remember the name of these, but not worth anything. And someone that had a Michael Jackson party donated all of their black hats um, individually priced. If it was one price, you know, I would have copped all those hats. So I'm in the electronic section and I found this thing. I don't know if it's like a tennis ball shooter or something. Guys, put down in the comments what you think this is. I'm super curious if you know what it is. Here we are in the toy section. You know, this is where I make my money, baby. So let's see what we got here. We have some plastic dinosaurs. Not the ones that you want. These are just kind of like the cheap ones that you would get like in a bucket. A bucket like of 100 or 50 or 25. But uh, here we go. On the bottom shelf, we find this nice little Paw Patrol Sky plush. Really big at 12 inches, I believe. Pause. 12 inches. So really nice. So we're going to put that in our cart and check it for later. And here we have Esponja Bob. Bob Esponja. SpongeBob SquarePants himself. So we're going to throw in that in there. We have a nice little Minecraft plushie. I think this is the zombie. Some of these could be worth some pretty good money. So I was excited to find this. So we're going to check the price on this here in a little bit. And look at here, guys. Another really nice plush. We have a Lego Stormtrooper. These are really nice. I've sold the uh, Darth Vader one before. And check this out, guys. Today's been hitting. The uh, Build-A-Bear how to train your dragon dragon i don't know how much this is gonna cost but we're gonna look that up later and look at the bottom shelf someone is a huge champagne wine drinker crazy and we have this nice little cute piggy and this uh fortnite piñata which is not worth anything after i looked up looked it up and a nice little dinosaur a little surfing dino so time to look up these plushes let's start with mr spongebob himself $14.99, not enough meat on the bone for me to pick him up, so we're gonna have to put him back. Let's see what the zombie Minecraft character, $9.99, still not enough meat on the bone, so we're gonna have to put him back. Strike two, let's see here, the build -a bear dragon, not enough meat on the bone. Man, strike three. Sky, are you gonna save us? Are you gonna save us? We have the stormtrooper here, still not enough meat on the bone for us to make a good profit after fees. And we have a sky here, which still not enough profit. But guys, on the bottom shelf, I saw something that could be worth some money. A Build-A-Bear Corgi. I've never seen a Build-A-Bear Corgi before. So let's look her up because I think that this plush is actually going to be worth some money. And I was completely wrong. It's missing the collar. It's missing some clothes. So nope. But out of the corner of my eye, I spot what I thought was a was a three stripe hat and it was just some cheap golf hat and nothing in the hat section today we have the glow uh hat but i got lucky i went back and looked at the shoes and i found these asics kianos and th these are amazing shoes in amazing condition they were a size women's eight and guys these are selling on ebay for 40 dollars, which is great so you know I had to pick these up. They only wanted $7.99 for them. 
So these were a definite cop. Shout out to the shoe section for always coming through for your boy. What's up, beautiful people? So we're here at the Nashville Flippers HQ, and we're gonna do the breakdown of the shoes that we just purchased at Goodwill. We have our coworker, Mateo, here with us today. He's gonna help us break down the numbers, right, Bubba? Oh yeah, give it a good stretch. Yeah, good stretch. So here we are, guys. Again, the numbers are sponsored by our good friends over at My Resale Genie. Use the code Nashville Flippers and you're gonna get 15% off your first month. So let's break it down here to our eight to $800 goal. We had a budget of 476.16 to spend, and we spent $8 on those shoes. Apparently there's not any tax on that, so I just rounded up to $8. We had $468.16 left over, and the sold comps on eBay was $40 for those pairs of shoes, so really nice. So we had 146 left in our new budget, including the $40 is $508.16, which is freaking awesome, which brings us $291.84 left for our $800 goal. That's absolutely incredible, guys. $281 left for our $800 goal. We're almost there, baby. Now it's time to go eat some steak. Eat that right, Bert. Eat that right, Ernie. It's me and Brittany are here. We're having dinner at one of our favorite places. So as you can see behind me, we are um, at Vanderbilt Stadium. Is Laura right behind me. And I guess there's a football game that's just gonna happen. Or it just happened. Uh, so that's really cool. Appetizer guys, we went for the classic, what is this spread? Spinach. spinach con queso with the, with the tomatoes. You just take the tomatoes and throw them in there. Makes it taste 100% better. All right guys, this is what we're eating tonight. Got the Maui steak, ribeye with the NY mac and cheese. With the broccoli, already got a salad. What kind of rice is this, babe? Wild rice and an orzo. Wild rice orzo, and an orzo, and another ribeye. So, really good stuff. So, interesting turn of events. We got a carrot cake, but their system is down for all credit cards, and the dessert was on the house. So, hopefully. It's down for a while and maybe we can get our meal for free. We didn't end up getting our meal for free. Across the street is Centennial Park, which is one of the best places because it has a to scale model of the Parthenon and Athens, Greece. Right across the street, who would have thought? And that's another Vlogtober episode in the books. If you're not already following Kristen and Real Squirrel and Angie Resells, make sure you do that because they are also doing a Vlogtober with your boy. So thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed to us, make sure you subscribe. And like always, we'll catch you on the flip side, baby. Peace.